Hello, welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. My name is Katie, and today we have Sticky Club for the month of June 2021. I forgot to black out my address, and now I'm trying to cover it, but in a subtle, like, cool way. So th this month, today, today for this month, we have went with the vintage pack. So if you don't know what sticky is, that may not mean anything, but it will in a little bit. Sticky is a monthly sticker subscription. They sometimes throw in, in like a few stationary items, but it's mostly stickers. So you gotta be here for the stickers if you want this. If you're in it for the stationary and you don't like stickers, not for you at all. But if you like stickers and are okay with stationary or pro stationary, good. this is good. This is where you wanna be. Or, I, honestly, this is kind of, where, in my opinion, this is where you want to be kind of regardless. This is my favorite subscription I get. So it is $10 a month. You usually get about six sticker sheets and then a few extra items, like I mentioned. There's also shipping. For me, in the United States, shipping is a dollar a month. International, from the United States, it is, I think, three. It's definitely less than 15 USD a month, no matter what. I'm pretty sure. Well, let me know if I'm wrong. Um, like I said, six to seven sticker sheets. There are three different genres each month. There's vintage slash retro. There's cute and there's pop. They're all super different most of the time and it's really easy to switch between them. Sometimes they're sort of similar. Like I think a few months ago they each had like the color themes but they were all still super aesthetically different. So if vintage is usually your thing but one month you're like not feeling it, you can switch to pop or cute super easy. You just like click a button. It's also really easy to like add and take away packs. So if you're really into like cute and pop one month, it's easy to add but not have to commit to that for anything longer than a month. Also, they have like a little shop. So if you're interested in any of these sheets or you just want like one sheet of stickers, like you don't want six every month, you can go to their shop and shop around. They also sell old packs too. So if you see a pack that you thought was cool, it's worth checking to see if they still have any. So that's the steal, spiel, spiel. My tongue is not doing great tonight, but that's okay. We'll make it through it together. So anyway, that's what we've got. Let's open it up. Vintage, vintage pack. I forget what the theme was, but uh, it will tell me. I will find out. All right, here we go. All right, so they include every month one of these little organizers. It fits an A5 six ring binder, which are super easy to find like online or obviously, but whatever. So that's great. Great way to organize. It has one kind of medium pocket and two small pockets on the front and then one big pocket that's the whole thing on the back. So let's see what the theme is this month. My memory has been jogged. It is deep blue sea specifically already super cute so they give you these little corner sheets that tell you the theme and you can just pop them right in the corner so as you're flipping through all your little sticker organizers you can see what the theme is super great I think it's a great system uh, it's a nice little touch that makes having this more fun and kind of easier to handle so now you have an organized sticker collection and not just a pile of a bunch of stickers and there's a there's a difference mentally for me knowing I have an organized collection and not a giant pile right so deep sea this month let's see what they've got I start with the non sticker items first and first up so cute they've been including these every month now and I love it but also it means I have to get extra items which is fine they've been including little stamps little acrylic stamps and this month is a seahorse designed by Jessica Benhar I will include her handle in the description box so you don't have to worry about like reading that another thing I love about sticky is every month they collaborate with at least one new small artist, right? So you're getting new art every month, you're getting new artists to follow every month. Some of my favorite artists I found through Sticky Club, and they usually have at least one per pack, so they're supporting like three different artists each month that they're collabing with. I love it. It's a great way to find new art. So looks like we've got Jessica Benhar at least this month, and I love this little seahorsey stamp. Very, very cool. Super excited, and it's tiny and delicate. Like that's how big it is. So cute. All right, and then 
more. These are like kind of sticker items, but uh, I count them as non-sticker. It's little flaky stickers. That's what I call these like solo stickers. I don't know if flaky is the uh, appropriate term. That's what I call them and I'm not. I didn't need to cut that. There was an opening on the other side. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, let's see what we've got. Very cool. Whales with butterflies. Love it. Love a whale. Here is the artist who designed these. Muriel a dot r dot t with an underscore there. So check them out if you're into this, which how could you not be? Here's another one. Oh, I like this one because it's got little flyer fireflies. Very cool. Oh, and this one's nice too. It's two, two little whales swimming. Very cool. Love it. So we got three beautiful flakies, and this is about how big they are to give you a sense sense of scale. And then we've got, ooh, this is a great notepad. So you get a lot of notepads, but they're small in terms of like sheet count. It's usually like 20 pages, 30, which is great because you're getting like basically one a month, right? Unless they throw something in different. So you can, you can, if you're diligent, you can use the whole notepad in a month. Or you can, they're great little stocking stuffers on top of other gifts. But here we go. And this is a good one. Lots of space to write. That's about what you have. It's a seascape, the depths of the deep blue sea. Very cool, got some mermaids, swordfish, ship. And this looks like it might be sticky in-house. I'm not sure, no handle on it. You, they're very diligent about putting uh, handles and names. So I think this is sticky in-house. But if it's not, down below, I'll add the artist. Love this one, I love the color too, this is a really good Really good light blue. Alright, so those are the non-sticker items, minus the plaguies, but you know what I'm saying. Off to a great start. Off to a great start. I'm loving this theme. Like I said, it's different every month. You, you, there will almost always be something you like with this between the three genres. Oh boy, let's dive in. Already looking great. Look at these, y'all. Look at these. This is from Sticky Club. Sticky Club Direct. Look at these shells, can you tell? Metallic foils, love it. There's lots of metallic foil in the subscription. If you like a metallic foil, this is for you because you're getting it every month, no doubt. I've never had a month without at least a little bit of foil. Look at these, and I say this every time, I love the subscription because you can pick a favorite with each sticker sheet and you can pick a favorite sheet. There's lots of favorite opportunities. I really like these like, Shell almost sunbursts. I'm digging these because they're made up of lots of little tiny shells. Also very much like like this guy right here. All super good though. Strong start. Strong start. Alright, next up, more from Muriel ART. Spells art if you didn't know. Oh look, do you guys see that foil? I thought it was just gonna be like gold, but no. There's a shift there. There's a shift. There's some beautiful foil whales, kind of celestial. I love the butterfly whale combos. These are pretty with the flowers. Look at that, so cool. These are great. I really like this guy jumping out with the butterflies. Very nice. I've never seen um, foil like this in Sticky Club before. This is a first for me, so I'm excited about that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, next up, you usually get one of these in every subscription. It is these long kind of washi tape stickers. These are great. My grandmother gave me this idea. These are great for the backs of envelopes is what I've been using them for. That's what she said she thinks they'd be good for, and that's what I do now whenever I have an envelope. So it's got little seascapes. And these. I love the color palette here. It's very subdued, very soft, like watercolory. Beautiful. And that's from Sticky Club. It's in house. All right, so this is what I think probably, this is a while since I picked, drew me in because these are some of my favorite stickers. They have these art print stickers, right? So it's water art. So obviously, you've got 
the wave, but then tons of other beautiful sea themed art. Looks like most of them are, you know, traditional wood blocks. Oh, beautiful. If you ever are in um, NYC and you're okay with going near the Met, they have, um, no, this is not the Met. This is the American Museum of Natural History. So if you're okay with going to the American Museum of Natural History, they all have their issues, right? They have um, a really wonderful display of the process of how they make the wood block prints. So they have like each layer printed out individually. And then they also have each layer printed out like sequentially so you can see it individually and like built up. It's a really cool way to see like the like the amount of work that goes into to wood blocks. Also are any of these wood blocks? I don't know. That it could just be me trying to say something I know. But anyway, it's a cool exhibit. These are cool stickers. Next up. Ooh, okay, so I'll have to put these against the back of something so they show up. We've got these really cool classic black and white kind of like you know, the science illustration aesthetic situation. Octopi. Love an octopus. Who doesn't? What are these? Are they orthopods? Cephalopods? Sometimes they're pod. They're potty. Look, it's cool. Right? Haven't we all seen like this drawing? And isn't it always cool when we see it? This is a great sheet. And these are kind of see through. Right? So they're going to take on the property whatever page you put them on which is so fun because stickers are a medium if they you know they're art right they're a medium meant to be put on top of another paper so i love when a sticker acknowledges that and is see-through it's all it's cool right who doesn't love see-through stuff all right so here we have some stuff from gg chong underscore art is the artist here so if you're into this art check them out on instagram Oh, this is cool. This one's really cool. Oh, I like her too. Beautiful. Love these illustrations. Love the combo of fish and people. Love the wave hair. So this is a cool sheet. Nice. Very cool. And this is a nice, can you like hear the texture? It's, it's a very textured, thick paper. As opposed to, you know, something like this, which is like clear and almost gel-like. I love the different textures you get here. All right, and then one more sheet also got that kind of like papery thick texture and ichthyology sheet. This is so cool. This, what does this remind me of? Oh, it reminds me of stuff like that. So like classic mythology art, right? Love it. Oh, I like this guy right here. How could you not? Isn't he cute? I mean, then, you know, you got the angler. Love it. <gasps> Tortoise. And then we have the seahorse, same as the stamp, as this is also Jessica Benhart. Love it. This is a good sheet, too. Love this lady. All right. And that's it. That's all the sheets. So we got one. Love this one. I think this one might be my favorite. Two. This one's good, too, because you have that wild foil. Three, four, five, six, seven sheets of stickers, all beautiful. And then you got the three wonderful flakies, the notepad, and then this gorgeous, delicate little stamp. I can't emphasize how like, cute it is. It's like tiny. Beautiful. This is a great month. I have actually, I remember like not being super excited for this month and I don't know why because that was, this is a really great one. There's some lots of, there are lots of cool textures, lots of cool images here. What I really like is there's a wide variety of aesthetic, right? So you got this super graphic stuff right here, like very bold lines, black and white. You also have all black and white, but different with the octopuses. And then you have this beautiful, delicate stuff from Muriel Art. And then Gigi Chong art. So it's a great it's a great mix. They're really good at that. So they're all they're all centered around a theme, right? You get so much 
variety. They're great at curating. Best curators in the biz of stickers, in my opinion. Let me know. Did you have a favorite sheet, favorite sticker, anything stand out? Do you like the ocean? I'm mixed. I'm, uh, yeah, mixed on, mixed on ocean opinions. I'll be near it. Love it. In it? Less, less into it. Thank you for hanging out. Sundays and Wednesdays are when I try to post, so check back then if you feel like it, if you want to see some other stuff, see what I've got going on on this channel. You can like the video if you're so inclined. You know, up to you. Subscribe if you want to grab onto this bandwagon. It is not going anywhere, but it might be fun. Who knows? Up to you. Up to you. Thanks for hanging out today. I hope you had fun. I definitely did. This is one of my faves. See you around.